Hey, Gemini Gang. Thank you guys for tuning in. All Gemini placements. Take what resonates. And leave other rest. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Y'all are great. Be appreciated, okay? So, religious factors. All right. Cool beans. Okay, there's that finances and career. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we have engagements. And worth waiting for. And then we see true love on the bottom. Okay? So, Gemini, you may feel like someone is your true love or vice versa or mutually. Um, there could be a, some type of financial problem going on here between you and this person or just with this person or just with you take it how it resonates gemini's um yeah let's see what's going on gemini's and nothing turns over oh what is going on here all right so, all right, so they're not telling you about the um, money thing. So I'll take the Three of Cups. That one's on the top, uh, Gemini's. And then we have the Moon here, the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands. So I feel like with this energy, uh, Gemini, someone may not be um, being totally honest about their financial situation. Gemini's there there could be something going on with their money and they're not telling you with the three of cups here uh Gemini's I feel like someone may be like trying to communicate with you if you're not talking to this person they may like try to talk to you telepathically uh Gemini's I also feel like this person may um try to communicate with you through other people too or some type of third outside situation so like um, like I've gotten for you guys before, block numbers, different numbers, uh, things like that, Gemini's. Hmm, okay. The Ace of Swords. Interesting. So for some of you, this person will tell you, like, what's going on? Queen of Pentacles. With the hierophant on the bottom. So this person sees you as marriage material, Gemini's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of you have your shit together. Gemini's, like, this person sees you as, like, well put together, beautiful, um, you know, may keep a good home, may cook a good meal, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I feel like this person sees you as, like, supportive. You may be really good with money, too, Gemini's. Like, this person feels like you are, like, um prosperous too you know you might be really smart with how you handle your money Gemini ah! okay <laughs> now cards want to go all over the place <laughs> yep nine of wands and the six of pentacles could be an Aquarius you're dealing with okay so yeah Gemini's first and foremost um you may be dealing with someone that's like going through a lot or has been through a lot in their life um Gemini's the nine of wands is like this card is like about persevering like no matter what but this can also be someone that has like their walls up but if you look at this card he looks very beat up he has a bandage around his head you know, but he's still standing, still standing here, uh, Gemini. So I feel like no matter what you two go through, no matter what um, problems and issues y'all have, it's, it's like you or this person or both just refuses to give up on the connection, uh, Gemini. Like you two just won't give up on each other um, or you can't. Um, Gemini's, but I do feel like things need to balance out between you two because if you look at the six of pentacles, first of all, sixes are about balance, um, anyways. But there's a scale right here in his hand, so um, I feel like something is needing to be balanced out, uh, between you and this person, Gemini's, and I feel like it's it's working, spirits working on that, um, yeah. So, so either you, this person, or both of you is taking a beating or has taken a beating in this connection. 
because like I said, things are out of whack. Things are out of balance. Ooh, the death card, yikes. Now, Gemini's with this Queen of Cups here on the bottom again, because we saw this last time. I feel like with this, um, number one, it could be someone like um, getting rid of a whole different person. Could be a water sign that they're getting rid of. If this isn't like an actual person, like this is um, something in this person's emotional state is changing, evolving. Um, Gemini's and like I got for you guys in the last reading it's like this person is learning something about themselves on an emotional level the magician oh child <laughs> with the six of wands on the bottom okay so Gemini's are you going to be teaching this person how to manifest or is this person learning this from you now I'm getting this because the ace of swords is a one and the magician is a one so I feel like this person might be starting like a new career or um, some type of new opportunity. But Gemini's, I feel like you play a role in this. You play a role in their finances in some way, uh, Gemini's. And this, and again, it could be that this person confides in you with their financial stuff as well. Um, but I feel like this person is like learning how to manifest because of you. Learning how to set intentions because of you. That, that's what I'm getting, Gemini's. I also feel like, too, this person feels like you have everything that they want in a partner. This person feels like they can learn from you. That, that's what I'm getting here. Like you're a teacher to this person in some way. Six of Wands on the bottom, like I said. Yeah, it could be a Leo for some of you. I see Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius. Capricorn. Or this person wants to learn from you. That that's oop, there's another ace, the ace of wands. Yeah, some of you may be seeing one one one, because I'm seeing a lot of wands. Uh Gemini's. Yeah. This person wants to learn from you and they feel like they can learn from you, and I feel like it has to do with something financial. Uh Gemini's, something material based. Knight of Swords, mm -hmm. and the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, like I've said in the other readings with the Five of Pentacles, sometimes the Five of Pentacles can be about sticking it out with through, with someone through thick and thin. I'm, and I feel like that, Gemini's. Either you're choosing to stick it out with this person, or you just it's like you can't like leave each other alone. Heavy Gemini in the spread as well. So it could be you, it could be someone you're dealing with with the Ace of Cups on the bottom, another Ace, a num another one, number one. So yeah, Gemini's, some type of new beginning, new start, uh, Gemini's setting intentions. But I feel like you are like some type of, um, this person uses you as an example. And I mean like in a good way, they look to you as an example, uh, Gemini's, if that makes sense. Because I feel like this person feels like you are, like I said, abundant, prosperous, beautiful. You know, you take care of yourself. And that's the type of energy that they want to be in. They want to get in that energy. Um, Gemini's. Yeah. And I feel like this person wants to communicate with you better as well. Like they want to open up. They want to be more expressive. You know, um, yeah, and I feel like if they are, if there are other people like in the mix, I feel like they want to cut that out. Also, feel like if they feel like you're dealing with other people, <laughs> they want that cut. They want that cut out, period, uh, Gemini's. But also the Five of Pentacles can sometimes be, especially with the Nine of Wands, like a codependency um, in a sense. 
So yeah, Gemini's, there may be a slight codependency between you and this person, but I see you guys just sticking it out. Yep, you're gonna know if this is for you or not, but I feel like for whoever this is, and y'all know I don't really tell y'all this shit. I don't. I don't mm -mm. I'm team leave them alone, okay? Um, but I feel like something is going to be worth it to you to stick it out, regardless of what you've gone through and the trains passing when I said that. Thank you, Spirit. Something's going to be worth it to you to stick it out. Yep. Because I feel like if this person is having some type of financial situation, that's it's going to, um, it's going to work itself out. Gemini's and I feel like but I feel like it's going to be with your help the Empress card mm -hmm. I feel heavy like this person wants children with you now they that may not y'all I can't make this shit up I can't fucking make it up y'all the Knight of Pentacles the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups I told you Gemini's I told you something is worth the wait here okay now this person may be a perfectionist the knight of pentacles can sometimes be a perfectionist um yeah but this person does want a family with you gemini's i'm seeing like something changing heavily changing with between you and this person now the empress is also three and then this is three of cups with the death card so i feel like in the death is 13 so some of you may be seeing 333 three, three. yeah but i feel like with this energy gemini's like i said someone could be leaving a whole nother person um to be with you but if, if if that's not the case i feel like sometimes when i see this this type of energy i'm seeing like a child because the death card isn't always bad the death card is something as you know it is changing and it's like a permanent change and you know of course having a child that's that's permanent like <laughs> you can't stuff it back in now okay so uh yeah so i'm getting like this person wants children gemini wants or a child with you or like i said they want to leave something or someone behind for you i'm seeing like a total change and like I said, some of you have been waiting for may have been waiting on this person for a long time with this Knight of Pentacles. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow energy. Um, but like I said, if this person's having a money problem, they are going to get out of it. They are. But I feel like you are, with this Ace of Pentacles here over the Queen of Pentacles, you play a role in this in some way. You play a role in their prosperity in some way, shape, or form. Gemini's and like I said I feel like you're an inspiration to this person in some way um especially when it comes to financial matters like they're learning from you even if you don't think they are they're they're watching even when you think they aren't they're paying attention even when you think they aren't but this two of cups crossing all this beat up energy Gemini's gives me the vibe that this is going to work out exactly the way that you wanted it to Something is worth waiting for with this card, with the worth waiting for, and all this energy here and here. Something is actually worth waiting for, Gemini's. Yep. Do I want to pull any? I, I guess I'll get, I don't think I even want to pull any oracles or any of that. I just don't feel like I need to. Like, it's just the reading is cut and dry whoever this is is worth waiting for Gemini. i feel like you know deep down now now don't make it fit if it's not going to fit okay if it's not your story don't make it your story you're going to know if your person ain't shit all right <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that <laughs> all right so um that's all I'm going to take of those because I really don't feel like we even need any of the messages because the message is very clear. But uh, yeah, I get a few of these and see what they, what spirit talking about. All right. So we have uh, number five and there's a lesson to be learned from this. Definitely. 
Definitely. This person is going through a massive transformation, uh, Gemini. This person may also be breaking codependencies, codependencies like I got from another reading for, for you of things that don't serve them. It could be like a really fucked up mentality regarding money and finances as well. It's like this person is learning from you. You might be teaching this person how to manifest and you might not even realize you're doing it, Gemini's. Two, and that might be the lesson for some of you too because they may have a very lack poverty mentality and you might be here to teach them to get out of that, Gemini's. I know this is more than a relationship and that there is a higher purpose in our connection. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I know in my heart we'll be together one day and that helps me trust. Let's keep working on us. Mm -hmm. I feel the chemistry between us. We need to trust that the energy we share will bring us back together again. Lots of back together energy. Gemini's hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.